Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to talk about the angles of elevation and depression. One thing you should know about these two angles. They are the angles formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight. Let me give you an illustration here. Suppose we have a building right here. Something like this. And it happens we have a bed at the top. A bed is situated right here and let us assume we have someone standing here on the same horizontal ground you can see the ground level here and let us assume also that this guy here is directly looking at the bed so we have a line of sight this is the line of sight and the horizontal line is that line parallel to the ground from his eye so something like this, this is what we call the horizontal line it is always parallel to the ground. So this and this are said to be parallel. So let me label something here. So we have a horizontal line. And we have the line of sight. So that angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight is either an angle of elevation or depression. What differentiate the two? If the line of sight is above the horizontal line, then the angle formed is an angle of elevation. So this right here is an angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. But if the horizontal line is above the line of sight, then the angle formed is an angle of differentiation. Let me give you an instance. Suppose we have a guy here, the same guy, this is a horizontal ground and it happens that a bed is situated on the ground. And the guy is looking directly to the bed, something like this. You can see that this is a horizontal line, right? So the angle form, this is the angle form, which is theta, between the horizontal line and the line of sight is an angle of depression because the horizontal line is above the line of sight so this right here is an angle of depression and one thing you should know in common between these two angles they are exactly the same in the same experiment for example let us assume that we have a building right here a block and it happens that we have two beds one at the top and one at the bottom and it happens that they are looking at each other so this one is looking at this one so we can see that this will form an angle of elevation because we have a horizontal line here and this one will form an angle of depression this is the horizontal line so this is the angle of uh, depression while this angle here is for what elevation and you can see that these two lines are said to be parallel right so if they are parallel this line of side will be a transversal line this is a transversal transversal line the line of side is now the transversal line and uh, these two angles are said to be what alternate angles and alternate angles are equal so when you have the same problem the same experiment where you have to deal with both angles of elevation and depression in that same experiment they are said to be equal so now let us go through some questions